The queen mother, okay? This is a very important one. And the way that, you know, we're going to really just talk about this in terms of Queen Latifah. Um, you know, the, the queen of queens, you know, when it, when it comes down to, um, you know, femcees and rap music. But basically, you know, um, a queen mother is, is a, um, you know, an icon of Afrocentricity. And, and when I, we talk about Af Afrocentricity, you know, we're talking about this view and this movement that Africa is the center of the world, that, um, you know, people, uh, uh, African Americans, you know, their, their history isn't just a history of slavery, their history is of being kings and queens, um, you know, in Ghana and Ethiopia, and, and you know, and, and that's really important, and that, you know, um, Afrocentricity also looks at, like, a black historical perspective of the world versus histories that are written by white dudes, you know. Um, and so, and it's also about, you know, how you dress, how you express yourself, um, etc. And it was a major movement, as we saw with Native Tongues um, in, the, in the late 80s and early 90s, and was a prominent, it was prominent in um, the music, the music videos, etc. Um, so basically, yeah, and this is expressed, um, Afrocentricity is expressed, you know, lyrically, um, so what they talk about visually, how they dress, how, how, what, they, what they wear, etc. from, you know, how they, how, you know, uh, hair, is, hair is styled, um, what they wear on their head, uh, earrings, other jewelry, necklaces, you know, um, you know, etc., you know, um, Queen Mother is about spirituality. There's an essence of being spiritual, not religious necessarily, but spiritual. Um, often lyrics and visual messages are grounded in uh, female empowerment and specifically black female empowerment, right? Which is, which is you know, it's different. It's very different. And it's very important that, that it's different because the oppression felt by, um, you know, uh, black females versus white females is very different, you know. Um, the thing that Keyes uses that I like is that these ideas are mothered in the listeners um, and with women, meaning like they nurture these ideas with the people who consume the music. So, um, you know, when you listen to Queen Latifah's music, she's, she's planting the seed in you. And she's also mothering and nurturing those, those ideas. So, um, you know, some great examples of this. I would say Queen Latifah, Sister Soldier, who you should check out. Yo-Yo, uh, um, you know, who uh, had some G-Funk moments, some songs with, um, with Ice Cube. Um, you know, um, uh, Saw Rock, I think, is another really good example uh, here. Um, and maybe we could even talk about Sampa the Great, you know, in that, in that sort of area, um, et cetera. All right, so we're going to watch a music video called Ladies First. Um, this is a fucking classic, and it's just a really powerful um, music video and, and message. And it's obviously a feminist anthem, black female anthem um, from, from the time. And... Um, it's got Money Love on it. Again, so this is a Native Tongues uh, track. Um, Fab Five Freddy directed it. I told you he was a music video director. Um, but it's, it's all Queen Latifah's idea and concept. He just executed it in the direct direction. But everything, you know, the authenticity here, right? Think, thinking about authenticity, right? What makes the message here not seem fake is because of Queen Latifah. Like, she, she writes the message and she exudes the message of authenticity here. And what is this song about in the music video, right? It's all about intersexual, intersectional, it always sounds like intersexual when I say that, but intersectional <laughs> um, oppression, right? And really like, it's, it's, she's rallying for people to stand up against racism and sexism all, all at once, you know? And I just think it's just incredibly um, important that she points to the women's role in, in resisting oppression. I mean, you just look at so many um, revolutionary moments in history, not just US history, but in history, and it's not written about, it's not focused on, 
because of you know white dudes writing a history to make themselves look cool, um, you know, is the role of women in revolutionary movements. I mean, just look at something like Black Lives Matter movement, right? An organization, a movement started by women, right? Like, I mean, that's one example, but like, there's so many examples. Like, you could look at when the Irish, um, you know, uh, uh, revolted against the British in the early 1900s. You could look at the Black Panthers, you know, and the role of women within the Panthers. Um, etc. Et so, um, music video is important. It starts out with some really important figures. So Harriet Tubman, Madam C.J. Walker, who um, you know was one of the, I believe, the first female millionaire, black or white, in the United States. Um, Sojourner Truth. Um, you know um, Angela Davis. You know who's like a, a very important. Um, academic, uh, uh, philosopher, um, I mean, uh, you know, talk about defunding the police, you know, breaking down the prison industrial complex, all that stuff, like she is like the queen, the queen for that, that type of stuff, so she gets uh, an image, and then Winnie Mandela, um, you know, from South Africa, Nelson Mandela's wife, and uses these women, you know, initially right at the beginning of the music video to, to signal the importance of, of women and of black, black women in resisting oppression and creating their own, their own path and being in control. And it's really, it's really a focus, ladies first, ladies first. First is is really the woman's central role in revolutionary mo uh, movements, like how women are at the core of that, and the importance of women um, to resisting op oppression, right? And so let's watch this music video. Pay attention to how like Queen Latifah dresses, the use of the um, the chessboard, um, it inner and it intercuts um, uh, clips of apartheid, apartheid South Africa and the movement against that, which was a really big topic in the late, in the late 80s. Uh, also part of why Nelson Mandela's um, uh, wife, Winnie, is, is focused on at the beginning. Um, but just think about how Queen Latifah dresses, how she's framed. Um, with the camera, you know, the, a lot of the images are low angle images that show her from above and that signals power, that signals strength versus, um, you know, angles from above that, you know, um, you know, um, you know, miniaturize you, that, that show you as, as weak, you know, etc. You know, so when you shoot someone from below, it signals power and, and strength, okay? So let's check this music video, then I'll draw a few moments out of it. <laughs> 